Hello friends, tonight I'm going to show you how I make a hamburger gravy my way. And I add a little extras to it. I don't just do hamburger onions and the gravy. I put a little veggies and some mushrooms and all the good stuff in it. So, But I do have to put a little oil, olive oil in my pan because my burger is really lean from my local butcher. So we're going to put that in there to start with. Okay. And while that's heating up, I'm going to cut up my mushrooms and my onion. So I'm just going to do like so. I love mushrooms and I love, love a little bit of mixed veggies in it. Now you don't have to add all this. You can certainly follow this recipe and just simply leave it plain. It's your choice. But you know this is a good way to get the veggies in the kids and make it like a one pot dinner and that's all you got to do. Okay, we'll break this up a little. That's one pound of burger, and it's really, really lean. Throw these mushrooms in there with it. Now I'm going to start my onion. Cut up my onion. I like a nice chunk of onion. Okay. No rhyme, no reason to cut it up. Just get it so it's chunked up, diced up small. It turns out pretty good. Can go in there. That looks pretty good. We're going to turn that down just a little bit. And the other onion off there. See how lean that is? Okay, now I'm just going to let that cook up while I get everything else ready to add to it, and I'll be back. Okay, friends, I've got that cooked up pretty good. Found it pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and sprinkle about a quarter cup of my flour in there. Get that mixed around. I'm also going to put a couple pinches of pepper. And about a good 
teaspoon of salt, and I got coarse salt there. All right, now we're gonna finish getting this mixed up in there real good. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna pour about two cups of milk into here. And that's gonna be wonderful. And that'll thicken up as it cooks a little bit more. And also, with that, now I didn't add too much, but I'm gonna add a good handful of my frozen mixed veggies. That's about it. And a few scragglies that fell on the counter. So, the one on the stove. Mix that in there real good. I'm just going to put a lid on this and I'm going to let this thicken up a little bit. And it'll be wonderful. And then when it's done, I'll bring you back and I'll show you just how wonderful it turns out. friends this is all done and my potatoes are all ready this turned out absolutely beautiful so we're just gonna scoop some up here on this gorgeous I also like to put just a little dot of parsley on it and there you have it friends that is absolutely delicious looking. What wonderful comfort food all in one meal. Vegetables, everything, all in one meal. So there you have it, friends. Thanks for watching.